Hello everybody! You're welcome to watch this tutorial if you see error messages while downloading a program, if you don't know where to find the installer you have just downloaded, or if you encounter any difficulties with installing and starting a program. In this video, we will analyze all possible issues that you may face, from downloading an installer to starting an application. What to do if you can't download an installation file for a program because your browser blocks the download and says there is a virus inside, one of the following notifications popping up on your screen. Just remember the warnings you may have seen from time to time. You go to the program's official website, choose the version you need and click to download it, but the download is blocked. This situation is a typical example of how the browser-integrated security system works. Before a download can start, data is checked for malicious code, and if the browser security system finds anything suspicious, it blocks the download. Just as any other antivirus software, security tools of your browser are far from being perfect. Sometimes they can malfunction and give false warnings. It often happens when you download little-known programs or if their installers are not included into a kind of software safety rating that the web protection feature in your browser relies on. False response is a common thing with newer versions of programs that have been published only recently and haven't been included into a kind of whitelist yet. If you know for sure that a certain program is absolutely safe, you can force such download. However, it's always better to be on the safe side and use the popular service VirusTotal to check every link for malicious elements. Just copy the download link for an application by right-clicking on the link and choosing the corresponding copy line. And then paste the link into this field in the VirusTotal website. VirusTotal is a free service for analyzing suspicious files and links for viruses, trojans, worms, and all kinds of malware. It combines the power of over 60 antiviruses that check an element for malicious code. Even if a single antivirus finds your file or link to be malicious, the service will let you know. On the contrary, if the service says the link is healthy, you can force download for the file you need. Click to download it. And as soon as the browser says this is malware, click on the icon and save the file. Otherwise, open the download section in your browser and click here to save the file. To play it safe, you can check the downloaded file with VirusTotal again by specifying its location on your computer. If everything is alright, start the file and install the program. If you don't know where to find the file you have just downloaded, check the Downloads folder. By default, all files you get from the Internet end up there. You can find it by opening Windows Explorer, this PC, Downloads. To make it easier to search, arrange the contents of the folder by date. If you don't see the file you need in the Downloads folder, the default saving path may have been modified. To find a downloaded file, open the browser, find its Downloads menu, check the list of recent downloads for the file you need, and click Show in folder. This simple trick will open the folder containing the file you are looking for. In any other browser, you can open the Downloads section by pressing the key shortcut Ctrl plus J and then move on to the folder containing the downloaded file. Double-click on it to run. What can you do when you start an installer? The blue spinning circle appears in the screen, but nothing else happens. Before the installation begins, the operating system and the antivirus are checking the file for malware. How long it can take depends largely on the availability of an Internet connection and its speed. The slower the Internet connection, the longer it takes for the computer to check the file. If your executable file won't open at all, make sure you have an active Internet connection. If you try running an installer and you see a notification like this, the publisher could not be verified. It means the file was blocked for safety reasons. If you still want to proceed, click Run. Before doing it, though, I'd recommend checking it with VirusTotal if you haven't done it yet. During the download, the file might have been replaced with a virus-infected copy. So check it to make sure it's safe and then start it. Also. 
you may sometimes see the notification saying Windows protected your PC after you try to run an installer. Windows 10 has a built-in protection feature known as Smart Screen. Every time you run a program or open a file, Smart Screen checks it with the Microsoft database. If such file or program was added to the database as safe, it won't be blocked. On the contrary, if such file or program has been marked as malicious or is not in the database yet, Smart Screen will block it and show a warning message. If you click Don't run, the installation will be cancelled and the notification will just disappear. But what can be done if you need to install an app and you believe that it is safe? Then just run it. To start the file, click More Info, Run Anyway, and the installation will begin. With all the things considered, I would still recommend checking the file with VirusTotal to make sure it's safe before installation. Also, Smart Screen can block applications without a digital signature or the ones whose digital signature is not trusted by Microsoft. A special digital signature is added by the program developer or publisher. They do it to enable users to check the program for integrity and make sure that no changes have been made to the program after the signature was added. As soon as a program receives a digital signature, it cannot be modified by third parties. If someone tries to change the program code, the digital signature becomes invalid. This is meant to protect users from malware, because hackers can modify the program by adding a piece of virus code that may harm your computer. All applications having a valid digital signature are verified and don't raise any suspicions of antiviruses and firewalls. Similarly, they almost never get quarantined. You can check a digital signature on your own to make sure that it belongs to the corresponding signer. Right-click on the downloaded installer file and select Properties. Then go to the tab Digital Signatures, where you can see the signer name, timestamp, and digest algorithm. If a signature is relatively new, it may alert Smart Screen, because adding the signature to the database may take some time. That is why some absolutely safe apps may get blocked by Windows Defender. When you see the signature is valid, you can proceed with the installation safely. So what should you do when the program was installed but it won't start? When you try to launch it, you'll see an error message. If that's the case, it may require administrator rights, so you should start it as administrator. If this is your own computer, this is not going to be difficult. Right-click on the program's shortcut and select Run as administrator. This time, it should start properly. A program may need administrator rights to modify certain files in its own directory inside the Program Files folder. By default, ordinary users have no rights to modify this directory and only a special user with administrator rights can start such program. So, if a program won't run or shows an error message, try running as administrator.